And smiles and further <laughs> students nice job boys and girls all right so if you remember last week or before our break we or some of the classes not everybody created the pop-up puppy dog presents remember this we drew a present folded your paper a certain way drew the present and you unfolded it and you got your cute little pop-up puppy dog surprise inside the present so a lot of you really like that and some of you who didn't get a chance to do that were really upset you didn't get a chance to do the pop-up puppy dog present so this week I decided we'll do another little pop-up surprise artwork it won't be a puppy dog it'll be a little fish so look at our little Nemo looking fish they're so cute and so gentle so unassuming and so sweet looking but he has a surprise he can open his mouth wide. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So, our little friendly little Nemo looking fish has a very big mouth and teeth. Look at that. All right, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, if you feel inspired to draw a different type of fish or animal, you go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you how to draw the little Nemo looking guy. And, um,. First, before we do that, I'm going to have to show you how you fold your paper so that it works. So that even works. All right, here we go. Stick that right there. You're going to take your clean piece of paper, you're going to hold it tall man. Tall man and wide man, really, we shouldn't be calling it tall man and wide man. Let's call it uh, the appropriate name. Tall man is portrait, just like. The Mona Lisa back there, she's a portrait, a picture, a painting of herself in portrait style. A landscape, usually a landscape is like a mountain scene or a, a, a ocean scene. That could be an oceanscape, but they're usually painted this way rather than this way. So that's why we call it portrait and landscape. So you're going to hold your, your paper portrait, tall man, and you're going to fold the top to meet up with the bottom. So the very bottom edges touch, the corners touch like that. Go ahead and fold it just like that and crease that edge nice and sharp. That edge right there, nice and sharp, crease it. All right, next you're gonna hold your paper, I call it taco style, you're gonna hold it up like this or put it on your table just like this so that the flaps are up high. You're going to fold down one of the flaps, not both of the flaps, but just one of the flaps so that the bottom meets up with the bottom of the paper and the corners line up perfectly. You're going to crease that fold nice and tight, just like that, like that. You folded it down, creased it nice and tight. And now you have your paper. Now you can either, it doesn't really matter, you can either draw your fish just like this and it folds down like that, opens up downward, or you can turn it over, draw your fish, and it would, uh, it would unfold this way instead. Either way, you decide. All right, so I'm going to show you how to draw the little Nemo looking fish. Now... Have a, you're going to use pencil, I'm going to use black crayon to make sure you can see it on the screen uh, at home or in class. So our little Nemo looking fish, look at, notice where that center line is. It's very important that it's right in the center of the mouth. It's the most important thing so that when you open it up, half of the mouth is up top, half of the mouth, mouth is down below. So let's start off with the mouth. All right, here we go. So the top of the mouth 
maybe comes up like this and there's a little he's got a little smile to him bottom of the mouth or lips like that <laughs> you can do your mouth your lips however you want to all right now we're gonna come up not too high because I want to put that top fin and down and up again for the tail fin you can do a little design like this little pattern back and we're doing the exact same thing on the underneath side just like that now let's do the dorsal fin the fin on top like this maybe you want to make it a pointed fin a rounded fin it's up to you a small fin on the back on the bottom and let's do the little side pectoral fin make sure this fin doesn't cross that center line so it's going to stay down here below that center line like this that's very important if it were to be up top we'd unfold it and you'd have part of this fin up here and way up there not making sense all right Next, we're going to do one gigantic eye, just like this. A circle, and a circle inside a circle. Color that circle in black eventually, if you're not now. And then there's your basic fish shape. Now, to make it kind of Nemo looking, we're going to start kind of going in the same, um, the same curve as the eye like this and then it curves in a little bit and maybe it does another curve like that all right next and Nemo I believe is a clownfish and so that's what we're making right now we're gonna follow the same pattern that we made with this first line follow that same pattern just like that continue on same pattern maybe do one more if you want to like that all right so that's those are the basics of how to draw your little clown fish your Nemo looking fish now let's talk about what happens when we open it up all right so when we open up our fish we have some more drawing to do notice that we got half our fish up top half our fish down below now the fun part I like to start with the mouth so I continue on down here with the lips and I don't seal those lips up down there yet because I gotta make the mouth that's gonna be a big mouth isn't it now we have to connect our little stripes on the fish from top to bottom and our tail like that of course you're going to want to put some teeth in there aren't you so watch this I kind of make my teeth curve a little bit you don't have to Here's some top teeth there's some bottom teeth All right, let's. Now's a good time to see how how it's gonna look. Oops. There we go. Here's our fish. Pull it down. <laughs> All right. Basically, that's it, boys and girls. So, on my example, you'll notice after I colored it I didn't want to leave the background remember background is behind the fish not the back of the paper I didn't want to leave the background white so I colored in lightly blue but before I did that I made these circles all over and on the inside to look like bubbles and then I colored around those bubbles in blue going in one direction when I colored like that all right, that's it, guys. I can't wait to see your pop-up surprise fish. Awesome. Here it is one more time. <laughs>
Bye, boys and girls. Bye. Good luck. Some art for everyone to see.